Let us quickly look into today's agenda. We will understand why HANA models are needed. Why did SAP come up with the modeling concept? We will talk and understand about it. Then we will talk about the different types of data in any ERP system. Data like the master data, the organization data, uh, text data, numeric data, transaction data. So we will talk about different types of data in any ERP system. Then we will talk about some of the jargons which is very commonly used in SAP fraternity. Many of us still do not understand the difference between a dimension and a measure. We will also clarify what are facts and what is a KPI. Then we will talk quickly about star schema. So you will understand with a graphical representation what is a star schema and I'm confident after looking at that graphical representation you will never forget what a star schema is. Finally, we will took a deeper look into HANA models or the HANA views. So we will talk in details about the attribute views, the analytical views and the calculation views. We will tell about the differences between each of these views and their practical use cases and we will also show you some simple examples. You must have heard that after HANA's uh, HANA 2.0, SAP has deprecated attribute view and analytical view. So going forward, it will only be calculation view everywhere. But in this course, we will still talk about the attribute view and the analytical view. Also, if you start working on S4 HANA project, you will realize that you or the developers are never given access to the HANA database. So the uh, ABAP developers might never need modeling concept in the real S4 HANA projects. The reason being the CDS view that is the ABAP CDS view takes the forefront. Whatever we used to do earlier with the HANA information models or the HANA views today with S4 HANA we can do the same thing in a better way using CDS views. Therefore in this course we are not going to create any HANA models in the HANA system. This will be a more of a conceptual and explanatory training where you will understand the different uh, jargons and different terminologies used in HANA models.